Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a pretty gray day happening here today. Although the solar is pretty well caught up and have extra and some redundant systems to get me through. The problem that we're experiencing out here right now, as you can see, this slow drip of water. We're not catching any water. And this is supposed to be a little bit of a rain day. And that's all that's coming off the roof right now is that slow drip. And that's not enough to add up to anything. And there is absolutely no water coming into the catchment tank. And this tank holds about <clears throat> 4,000 gallons. And I've got my uh, trusty measuring stick here. And I'm going to come out here and take a, a measurement to see what I'm looking at today. I've been watching this go down steadily lately. And I've been talking to water haulers out here who are booked solid. People are actually running out of water. I'm very conservative. And that's about one foot of water in this tank. So I'm getting extremely low. Extremely low. So I was just saying the other day in one of my videos about having to be uh, flexible and adapt to the situations off-grid, and that's what we're having to do now on the water situation. <clears throat> I'm going to be flexible and make some adaptations here right now. And so one of the uh, things that I'm doing right now to stretch out every single drop of water, um, here's my reverse osmosis system, because we do pull off that catchment tank and make our own purified drinking water off of this system. But this wastes about a gallon of water per every gallon and a half of drinking water. And <clears throat> where's my waste line? Right, right here. So this is the waste line. And while it's running now, uh, if it was running and on, I would be filling up these jugs. And these jugs have been saving up every drop of waste water from the reverse osmosis so all of these jugs are completely full and every little thing that I've got that can hold water I'm filling up and now I've shut the water valve off to the toilet because the toilet is you know can be one of your biggest consumers of water in any household and even though this is a low flush uh, toilet, it still takes a couple of gallons. <laughs> so now, when that is flushed, I will use that container sitting right there full of water to refill this for flushing the next time instead of pulling off that catchment tank because it's getting, you know, it's getting low. So. Every single drop of wastewater is now being used to flush the toilet. Now, if we were in an abundant rain and the catchment tank was overflowing, then I don't worry about that. But we're in extreme drought conditions right now, and we're going to be making the news over that here pretty quick. And I just talked to one of the water haulers for quite some time on the phone a few minutes ago and was getting some quotes on what water is running to be hauled to these locations. Uh, $450 for 2,000 gallons. So, you can break that down too if you're having to do that. Uh, about 50 cents every time you flush that toilet. So for the larger families out here, that can run up to some money real fast. And right now, that little bit of mist that I was getting producing Basically no water, just a slow drip coming off the roof. Now the sun is peeking back out. It's getting quite warm. So the other thing about getting water hauled out to you out here right now, the water hauler I talked to today said that they were backed up for two weeks. 
uh, unless it was an emergency situation and you were completely out of water, which a lot of people are every single day calling up saying we have no water. And they're working round the clock, round the clock, 24-7 getting water to people now out in these areas. And on the west side of the island, it's even worse. Uh, it's it's like a desert over there, but this is the lush side of the big island that normally, under what we would call normal conditions, gets, you know, excess water, but it's not happening now. And it's not projected to be happening in the near future. I just looked at the long-term forecast for this area. There's like no rain in our future. So those of you out here and around the entire state, um, if you're getting low, now's the time to get on the waiting list. I'm not trying to be an alarmist, just trying to keep everything running for you guys. You're going to need some water. Flushing toilets, taking baths, cooking, washing. You know, got to have water. So for those of you out here, especially uh, on catchment systems, which everybody out here is, Good time to take inventory of what you've got in your tank. If you're running pretty low, it's time to get on that list because if you take yourself off of that list thinking that rain's going to be happening or you look and it says we're going to get a little bit of rain and then that doesn't materialize and you cancel your order, uh, you'll lose your place in line and if you run out, you're still going to go back to the, the back of the list. So uh, now's the time if you're getting really low to go ahead and start making some arrangements to get some water because it's not looking like it's going to change anytime soon. And the other thing to mention is we are in an El Nino year and the long-term projections for our area is to stay in these extreme drought conditions for quite some time. I saw that it wasn't even going to start peaking until January and February which are normally our extremely wet months. So that may, may not happen this year. So uh, we're going to really have to start paying attention to the water. And we are going to start making the news over that here pretty quick. And we should start getting some public service announcements any day about start conserving water. And when I was on the east side of the, the island uh, last week filming that, uh, guest solar system I showed you guys. I passed a couple of water stations and the lines were long for people hauling five gallon containers back for personal use and the bigger trucks hauling thousands of gallons to help people fill up their catchment tanks. So that's the sign of the times right now here and it's not looking like it's going to ease off anytime soon and yeah I'm going to have to jump back in the shade because uh, the sun is now out. Of course, the solar panels are catching all kinds of power. Uh, that's really the least of my concerns right now because uh, we're not going to live out here without water. You can live without solar power, but you can't live without water. That's for sure. So we are under extreme drought conditions will emphasize that it is extreme. Those of you living out here or anywhere in Hawaii know that that is the truth. And uh, today, I'm not taking a shower <laughs> and I could use one. So I will keep dipping my measuring stick into that tank every day, but from here on out, every drop counts. All right, everybody. Here's hoping for some rain in our future. But like I said in a previous video, uh, it's time to adapt and be flexible and start making some accommodations for what is happening. And that's what's happening. Aloha. Come on, rain. Not today.